Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's bamboo harvest time. Have a look at this. So, Wilfredo's got his lease back on all his bananas again. So he's going to be fencing it all the way down to the end where those trees are, tree line is that you can see in the way around and back. And his brother lives over the road. So um, he's redoing all his area as well. So I looked at it and I said to Chick, I thought he's going to be putting a fence up there or something. I said, see if he wants bamboo from up the back. And then we'll give it to him for free. And she goes, oh, go and talk to him, dolls. I said, well, fucking why not, dolls? So she go and talk to him and they said, yes, definitely. So he's got some guys out to harvest. Okay. Uh, so he's got some guys out to harvest. So they're going to be cutting down the poles, as you can see. So they made a ladder up to get them up over the top. Hey, guys. Up the top there. And um, they're cutting it down. I wouldn't be in there. There's that many bloody cobras in there. It's fucking, you know, ugly as my ex and wife. So what we said is um, cut down, take as much as you want because we want to clear up all these trees here. So hopefully we'll probably be able to get a good portion of where this coconut tree is here cut right through, cut down. The mango is like being mal malformed now, huh? Oh, yeah. So all the trees are getting stuffed it's during in the middle here, during over there. The coconut trees are getting hit up there. So we did try to sell it some time back, like we got all these ones done. But I said to Chick, just get it cleaned up. So she went and seen them and said, look, you want some free bamboo that you need for your job? Come and get it from us. And they said yes. And that was last night. And they sent the guys over today. So it's good. Because normally these poles are about, what, 120 or something, aren't they? 120, 130, like that. So they're 120, 130 a uh, strip normally. So um, we're just giving it to them for free. And uh, it cleans it up for us. Yes. So it works for them and it works Cleaning for us. Again with the next durian hand. You know the good durian that yeah. has one fruit one only last time? Yeah. So it's a bit of a bitch to cut. So what we're told is that we want it cleaned up. The only rule is that they must keep it clean. So, because at the end, you see all these ones here, they'll drag that one across later on. But all these tops, like before, when we had people take these ones here, they fell down back through there. And that whole area, it took us two days to clean it up with two guys. So it cost us money to clean it up, which wasn't very good. Wasn't happy, Janice. So we said to him, look, you have as much free bamboo as you want. No problem, but it must be kept clean. So it's working quite, quite well. He said, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. That's how it all works out. So it's good. What do you think? Yes, no? Put the comments down below and say, bloody good idea, Will. <laughs> I say, I said to Papa a long time ago, if we can get people just to, if we don't have to pay someone to clean it, we're in, we're ahead. So um, we're just doing that ourselves this time. Told them to get it. Well, hopefully that will get cleaned up right, right through there. They've taken one, two, three, four, five. Taken about ten out already. So that's good. And it's free for them, so why not get into it? <laughs> 